Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing this peacock makeup look. So a few weeks ago I was playing around with some of my makeup. I often do this um, late at night and I came up with a look that you would have seen on Instagram. It was this photo. I was honestly just playing around with my makeup, um, came up with that look. You guys said you wanted to see it so I thought I would show you guys. It's using quite a bit of Arbonne makeup because at the time I had just been sent a big bag of the stuff. And I hope you guys like it. It's like a peacock inspired look using teal and purple colours. Nice big lashes. It's a really nice easy way to wear colour because I don't usually wear much of it. But if you're wearing a neutral outfit it's sometimes fun to throw a bit of it in there. Let's get into the toot. Oakley doakley, I've started out with my Arbonne primer. I pretty much always use this primer when I'm going to use my Arbonne foundation. Um, it just works really well. Um, and the foundation is the Perfecting Liquid Foundation. I always get questions about which colour I use and I usually use Honey Beige. But um, when I've got a bit of fake tan on I like to either use Golden Beige or mix the two together. I've got a bit of fake tan left over so I'm actually going to mix the two on this little palette from Makeup Forever. I'm going to mix them in with my finger. Put the excess on my fuzz. I'm going to use this brush from um, Real Techniques to buff that into the skin. This is a duo fiber brush. I want a really full coverage base because I'm going to be doing like a peacock, peacock, peacock makeup look um, on my eyes and I just feel like when you're using bright colors, I feel like your face should be really flawless. So I'm going to really make sure I add enough product to cover all my discoloration. Whoa. Now I'm going to leave it at that while I go on to the rest of my face. I'm going to use bright colors as I said. So I'm going to do concealer after I finish my eyes off and before I do my blush and things. Now I'm going to use my Sigma Medium Brow Powder. And I'm going to go for really perfect brows today. Gosh, that looks weird. Okay, so brows are on, let's zoom in so you can see the detail I do with my eyes. To prime I'm going to use my Elizabeth Arden Anchors Away um, Cream Eyeshadow. I'm going to use a brush to smear that all over the lid. This has got like a slightly purple tinge which is why I'm applying this as a base. A little bit on my pinky and run that under the eye. Gonna start out with the smoke eyeshadow from Arbonne. I'm gonna put this over the brow bone so it's a nice soft color that the purples are gonna blend into. Then the purple I'm using is from Arbonne. It is the Divine Plum. I'm gonna pat that on the outer. Whoa, that is pigmented. On the outer half of the eye, just up to the socket. Just start, starting to lightly fade that toward the inner corner by patting the brush lightly. Take a very clean smaller brush and a glittery gold eyeshadow. This is one from Sisley. It is called Pearl. Interesting because it's gold color. Interesting. And there it is. I'm just going to pat that over the inner corner of the eye or the inner half. Fade it into the beautiful purple. I'm going to use the blending brush I used to apply smoke to blend those two colours in together. Now I'm going to take the same brush and a darker plum. This is also by Arbonne. It's called Cabernet. Hmm, I'm thirsty now. I'm going to take it on the same brush that I used and apply it under the eye. Go about three quarters of the way in and connect it up the side. To finish off the eyeshadow, I'm going to take a teal colour. This is a crushed metallic pigment from MAC. It's called Roost. Then I'm going to take this brush here. It's a brow brush by Zoeva, but I'm going to use it to get it right here. About that width as well. So work some product into just one side of the brush. And then I'm going to place it right underneath there. And wriggle it in. Also blending it underneath a little bit. Now I'm going to take this pencil by NARS. It is called Larger Than Life and it's just a beige color for your waterline. Or wherever you want to put it. For mascara, I'm using the It's a Long Story Mascara from Arbonne. This is so trippy because you kind of think that this is going to be the bit where the um, product is, but it's actually not. Oh my god. I don't know why that trips me out every single time I go to use it. 
but it is a really good mascara for lengthening the lashes. Now for lashes, I'm going to use my Huda Beauty lashes. These nice spiky ones. What are these called? These are the Candy Number no. Fives. I want something that's quite spiky and dramatic, so I'm taking these ones. So that's them with the lashes on. They are big, but just like a peacock's tail, they're big. Now I'm going to finally get to doing my under eye um, with this concealer, it's by Bobbi Brown and it's called the Bobbi Brown Cre Creamy Concealer and I'm going to use the creamy concealer and then set it with the powder. Applying it with this furless brush, from the inner corner all the way under, take my precision tapered brush from Sigma, pat that in. Then I'm going to take this little tapered brush and pat the setting powder over the concealer. Now for um, bronzer, I'm going to take my NARS Multiple in Altai, just texture it on like so. And I mean, if you really feel like blending, you can, but don't feel pressured. Jokes. Might use my foundation brush from earlier. Bronzer is on, now I'm going to move on to my lips. Oh wait, no, blush. I'm going to use another Arbonne blush, which I also just got. Let you know what I think. I haven't tried it yet, but it is a very pretty luminous peach colour. Probably could act like a highlight, so I might just sort of apply it on the top of the cheeks. It's very golden. I'm going to be naughty and use the same brush that I used to apply my under eye powder. I'm going to apply that just sort of in like a C over my cheek, like so. So it's going to highlight, make it look a bit rosy. Well, not rosy because it's, oh, that is really pretty. Um, it's quite, because of my skin tone, it's not going to show up that peachy. I imagine on someone that's quite pale it will be very peach, but I actually think this is the perfect amount considering my eye makeup. Oh, I like what I see. I really, can you guys see that? Can you see how it just gives off the most subtle peach sheen? Me lucky. Now we can move on to the lips. Sorry, keep going in and out, in and out. In and out. That's something I haven't tried. Burgers from In and Out. Okay, now onto my lips. I'm gonna take a color. Let's put this one on. So I haven't tried this since I, you know, did this look a few weeks ago. But um, it's called Rose Petal, and it's a very pretty like. It's like my lip colour. Let's draw this on. Comes out kind of peachy. Goodness. It's got a really nice consistency. Really nice and creamy. I like it. I could leave it like that, but I think I'm going to put my... This is honestly like one of my favourite lip glosses. Um, as you can see, it's all worn off because I use it so much. This one is called Posh. It's like my perfect nude lip gloss. It is like, it's my lip colour in a gloss. So, I really like that. I like those lips. How do you think it goes with the makeup? I approve. I hope you approved. What's going on here? It kind of looks like a horn. But it's, um, this thing I tried to do. Twisty thing. Well, that is the finished look. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, I really like how it came out. It's a really nice way to wear colour without... I don't think it's going overboard and I think you could wear it to any real special occasion. Um, it'd look great with a neutral outfit I think because you do have a different mix of you know sort of three colours with the gold, the purple and the aqua. So I hope you guys like this look, let me know what you think in the comments and I will see you in the next tutorial. Let me know what you want to see in my next videos, I'd love to hear. Bye!